All right, so here I'm going to show you how to take a web map generated in ArcGIS Online and embed it into a web page. Um, if you're not really familiar with HTML and whatnot, that's fine. Um, again, we're just I'm just trying to introduce you to this concept. There's a lot more you could do with it if you understand the, the web development uh, tools such as HTML and CSS and JavaScript and whatnot. Okay, so here I have a plain uh, brackets, which is a soft uh, a, a program that allows you to do plain text editing and programming. Um, I like it a lot. It's free if you're looking for a good plain text editor. Uh, so this is the HTML for another web page for a different class. Um, sp specifically, it's for this transition to ArcGIS Pro course page that um, I also uh, produce for the West Virginia AGP. So uh, anyway, I have some code that's generating a web page. Um, now what I'd like to do is add a map into this page. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so first off I'm going to turn off this live preview and I'm going to minimize brackets. Alright, so first I need to actually get the code that's required to add the map in. So to do that I need to go to the map object. So we go to this Monforce map. I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to open the map, and then I'm going to go to share. So click on share. Um, real quick, I'm going to re remove this terrain layer because sometimes I find that layers that have, you know, uh, that require licenses sometimes screw up um, adding in web maps to, to web pages. I'm just going to remove that terrain layer. Yes, and we'll save the map, and then I'm going to do a share. Again, it should base. I think you have to have it shared with the public in order to embed it into a web page. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I think that's how it works. Okay, so um, here again, we would go to create a map using the web app builder or a template. What we want to do now is do embed in website. So I'm going to click on that embed in website. And now we can set up some comment or some criteria for the map. So first off, I'm going to add a base map selector in. Uh, gallery's good. I don't really think we need a larger map view. I'm going to change it to a dark theme. Um, a search work, legend, and a la with a layer toggle. I think that's everything that we would need. Okay, so what this does is it generates some code that you can use to um, uh, that you can use to embed this this uh, map with these settings. I'm going to also make it slightly smaller. I might do like a, let's just do a we'll do a square, 400 by 400. And if that's changing the code here, so then I get this copy. So that's copied that HTML. And then I need to go into my code and dump that in where I want the map to go. Um, so I'm going to reinitiate this preview. Okay, so there's the preview, and so this is the uh, the the nav bar up top. This is the um, title information here. This is that first paragraph. And then we have this air, this div that holds these download uh, buttons. So let's just add it to the bottom um, above the footer. So I'm going to go to that location, and I'm going to do a paste, and that dumps in that code. So if I'm going to ref I'm going to do save, and see what happens. So it's put a blank uh, it's put a blank spot there, but nothing's actually drawing yet. So this is a, a problem that I've noticed with ArcGIS Online, um, and this is like a known issue. So see, it's trying to load something, but it's not quite working. So to fix this issue, you actually have to change the URL for the web or for the for the map um, in the in the in the div here. So that's this area. Um, so to fix it, you generally have to add in the HTTP and then get rid of the WVU, so you like your organization. Let's see if that works. So I'm going to do a file, save, and there we go. It loads the map in. So again, that's kind of weird. Um, 
I'm not, uh, again, 100% sure um, why it works that way, but that's a known issue. Um, if you have ever want to do this and you're having problems with it, again, you can just Google it. Um, but all I really had to do here was remove my organization from the URL and then add on the, the hypertext uh, transfer protocol, the HTTP or HTTPS there. Okay, so there we have an embedded web map. Um, so let's say that you wanted to do some additional editing on this, like change the size of the map or add like a padding around it. Uh, you can do that by going in here and editing the HTML. Um, I found some of this to be a bit confusing. Um, um, you have to really understand some CSS to really get this to work. Um, but I'm going to just show you a couple quick things while we're in here. Okay, so uh, this again is the style. And that closes the style, so that's all the formatting stuff. This is the div, so right now it's set to 400 by 400. So if we want to make it smaller, we could change it to like 200 by 200. And I'm going to do a save. And that didn't change anything. <laughs> Uh, that might actually not take that. It should save. Let me do a reload. No. Might be because it hasn't hit the max extent yet. No, that's definitely not it. Um, yeah, I feel like that should have worked. That's the size of the iframe. Let's go in here and change the max width to 50%. Uh, so now it's only filling a 50% of the, of the frame that it's inside of. Um, it's not centered. You'd have to do some work to get it to be centered. Yeah, I'm actually still not 100% sure why that didn't work because I felt like it should have. Let me make it a really small and see what happens. I might have to put in units. Let's see if that helps. So we'll do 200 by 200 pixels. Now that still didn't work. Uh, so again, that takes a little bit of playing around. Uh, it's not too hard to get the map to embed. It's a little bit harder to get it to like align and, and, and size and whatnot the way that you want. Um, but again, in summary, to take care of that, you just or to accomplish that, you just have to generate this code and then run it. Um, real quick, I'm just going to change the size again. It might be because of this responsive sizing. Um, I'm going to turn that off and just see what it does. So I'm going to do a copy. I'm going to go back to my map here, or sorry, my uh, my HTML. I'm going to delete everything. I'm going to add the map back in and do a save. Let's see what that did. Well, that didn't add it at all. Oh, yeah. Again, I have to change the web address again. So I'm going to do HTTP and then get rid of the WVU there. That, that took it. So it must have something to do with the, with the formatting. Um, just for the heck of it, I'm going to change this size again and see what happens. So again, this comes down to the responsive design, which means that you can change the size of the, of the view um, depending on the size of the window. So that must uh, have, be having some impact on, on the sizing. Okay, so uh, again, that's not all of the complexities of adding a map to a web scene, or, or sorry, adding a map to a, a web page, but that should get you started if you want to just be able to dump simple content in.